Okay, well I'm beginning to troubleshoot this uh, RCA 811K and I mentioned right away in the uh, first look video that the motor wasn't working and that that was a real important thing to the owner. The owner really cared about whether the motor worked or not. So I want to troubleshoot at least to make sure number one does the motor have power number two if the power is uh, applied to the motor terminals will the motor operate um, and part of that I guess is to make sure that the, the uh, motor windings are good so will the motor operate and then if if both of those are positive then why is the motor not operating now? Is it that it's not somehow we're not switching the power to the motor? It's we're not directing power to the motor? Or is it some other thing, maybe a mechanical thing that's preventing it from turning? Who knows? But So I'm just going to start right now by checking out to make sure that the uh, transformer has is delivering power to the motor. So this radio uses 24 volts AC from a 24 volt winding and the main power transformer. So that's something I've not dealt with before, but that's good I'm doing it now because there is a similar situation in a Scott 800B that I'm going to be working on very soon. So uh, I want to troubleshoot it in this radio and see if I'm getting 24 volts to the motor. And uh, the motor, it's the 24 volts is across, is from uh, you know one of the motor terminals to ground. So it's 24 volts reference to ground so that should be real easy to check right so uh, put my negative for my multimeter on chassis ground positive it's a yellow wire coming from the transformer it says so in the schematic um, it's a yellow wire so I will follow that yellow wire to the motor and sure enough it's right here we have a yellow wire right here so I'll put the positive for the multimeter on that yellow wire I'll set it up for to take an AC measurement. Now I've got this connected up to the variac, so I'll turn the variac on and I'll bring it up slowly. And let's watch the uh, the uh, motor volts as we go. I think this should give us motor volts. Let's see what happens. Okay, so it's changing. That's good. At about 30 volts input to the transformer, eight eight point seven volts. Uh, at the motor, 60 volts in at the transformer. Now we're looking at 14 and a half volts, just about, at the motor. All right, so now we're heading up to 90 volts at the uh, input. We're at 21 and a half volts at the motor. 100 volts. We're at 24. Now, remember, there's no load on this, so that 24 volt winding is likely to put out just a little more than 24 volts. So let's go right on up to 117, which this is rated for. And I'm getting 28.15 volts. So that's a pretty good result. Um, what that's telling me is that I'm getting the 28 volts. I'm going to get a pointer here. And I don't want it to be. I do not want the pointer to be conducted. Wouldn't that be fun if I touch that and it's conductive and I get a nasty zap. So that 24 volts is, or 28 volts is from chassis ground to the, uh, the yellow wire which is coming from the main power transformer applying 24 volts to one of the, the uh, winding terminals of this motor so this motor has it's, it's getting power um, now I am sure that the switch to make it operate maybe connects the ground maybe uh, maybe the ground is open I'm not sure yet I have to figure that out because when I I will check voltage across the winding what I think is the winding and uh, and see if I still get the 28 volts. I, the, the motor should be turning if that's the case. So let's, uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm brand new at this, guys, so be patient with me. We'll see what we can figure out. Turn the Variac down. Now I'm going to, let's see, where would I, where is going to be across the motor? I'm going to pause the video for the time being.
Well, I studied the manual that came with this radio, the owner's manual, and I learned that the tuning mode switch, I'm going to call it the tuning mode switch, has three positions. One position is for totally manual tuning. The middle position on that mode switch would be for um, electric tuning using the push buttons on the radio. This radio, you could purchase it with a... Um, a uh, remote armchair um, tuning uh, box but I don't have that um, I don't have it for any of my radios like this I guess I could build one but anyway that that was the third position for that switch well it turns out I had that switch on, and I didn't realize that in the wrong position so I may be in good shape here because let me show you something I'm gonna operate these uh, these contacts which are that which would be operated by the um, push buttons on the radio so here's one right here let me uh, operate this check that out guys okay so one of the things it does do though that I'm just now realizing is that once it reaches the end there's a little it, the motor will slide the uh, the armature on the thing slides back and forth and so if you look right here you can see the end of the armature shaft it will slide back and forth and I learned this one time I was looking at one of these to buy and it, and he said it worked and it appeared to be stuck but I remember having re read something about it and I was able to get a uh, long nose pliers in there and pull this shaft out and when that shaft is out it disengages um, a stop switch so now when I uh, there's a reversing switch though I forgot about that so hmm, there okay so there is a reversing switch not quite sure how that works. Okay, there are some little finger contacts here. And I think when this slides out, it operates those finger contacts. And uh, when it wants to reverse directions, I'm not sure what how that how that's working yet. I've got to figure it out. I do know that it doesn't seem to be reversing not quite sure why but uh, let me uh, let me do something here so I'm making progress But I'm not sure, you can't see it, but the, that light that just came on tells me I'm in electric tuning. So I'm not sure why it's uh, not going backward now, why it's not going back the other direction. But okay, so I know the motor is good, which is really cool, because I didn't know that before. So let me see something here. Maybe when that motor... No. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to pause it for a minute while I think about this. Okay, I did, I did learn that that switch is functioning the way it's supposed to, but I don't know where these... Um, I don't really know where these... Um, presets are set to so that was part of my problem some of the presets were were set further to the left and some were set further to the right it turns out that it does need to get all the way to the end of the dial and then it's at the end the extreme ends of the dial that it resets this this um, reversing switch with this little lever here this little cam 
I but I did discover that uh, the lower end of the dial presets are on this are on the left hand side of the dial. When I you can't really get to those until the dot until it does reach all the way to the end, and then you have to push the button. It doesn't reverse on its own. It stops and reverses the switch, so it'll travel the other way. So if you're on say 1100 and you want to go back to to 700. I think what you have to do is go up to 1600 and then go back to 700. I'm learning this as I go, guys, but I have figured out that um, this, it looks like this thing is, is working now. Let's, let's give it some juice. Let's see. Let me just try this. Okay, so apparently it hasn't reversed. Hmm. Well, it's a complicated radio. You wouldn't think it is, but it is. So what I'm doing is manually tuning to one side of the dial. Let's see. Really strange. Maybe this switch is defective. So let me try, try this now. So I've moved the dial so that this lever moves away from the switch. I'm going to see what happens now. strange I can still have power but I'm not driving the motors not driving now oh when it gets to the stop I forgot it likes to come up the the armature I don't know what how to what to do about that the armature here moves forward but uh, and then it gets stuck against the stop but uh, I have maybe that's just a lubrication thing. So now when I've moved that, hmm, very weird. Well guys, I thought I was on the right track, but I seem to be at a little bit of a loss here. And I don't want to bore you with stuff. Yeah. Huh. Well, okay, I'll pause the video for now. I'm not sure what I'm going to run into here. Okay, I did, I did learn that that switch is functioning the way it's supposed to, but I don't know where these, um, I don't really know where these um, presets are set to, so that was part of my problem. Some of the presets were, were set further to the left, and some were set further to the right. It turns out that it does need to get all the way to the end of the dial, and then it's at the end, the extreme ends of the dial that it resets this this um, reversing switch with this little lever here, this little cam. 
I but I did discover that uh, the lower end of the dial presets are on this are on the left hand side of the dial. When I you can't really get to those until the dot until it does reach all the way to the end, and then you have to push the button. It doesn't reverse on its own. It stops and reverses the switch, so it'll travel the other way. So if you're on say 1100 and you want to go back to to 700. I think what you have to do is go up to 1600 and then go back to 700. I'm learning this as I go, guys, but I have figured out that um, this, it looks like this thing is, is working now. Let's, let's give it some juice. Let's see. Let me just try this. Okay, so apparently it hasn't reversed. Hmm. Well, it's a complicated radio. You wouldn't think it is, but it is. So what I'm doing is manually tuning to one side of the dial. Let's see. Really strange. Maybe this switch is defective. So let me try, try this now. So I've moved the dial so that this lever moves away from the switch. I'm going to see what happens now. strange I still have power but I'm not driving the motors not driving now oh when it gets to the stop I forgot it likes to come up the the armature I don't know what how to what to do about that the armature here moves forward but uh, and then it gets stuck against the stop but uh, I have maybe that's just a lubrication thing. So now when I've moved that, hmm, very weird. Well guys, I thought I was on the right track, but I seem to be at a little bit of a loss here. And I don't want to bore you with stuff. Yeah. Huh. Well, okay, I'll pause the video for now. I'm not sure what I'm going to run into here.